Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 11th video in Veeam Advanced Training and in this video I'm going to show you how to create forward incremental backup in Veeam. So in last video we have uh, created forever forward incremental backup. So in forever forward uh, incremental backup we have checked uh, the first copy which is going to be in backup uh, is always going to have a full backup of virtual machine so in this video we are going to create some a static uh, synthetic backup for on a specific time for um, um, which is going to be a full full synthetic backup so we are going to see how to create uh, this uh, forward incremental backup in this video so from a screenshot you can see from here create synthetic full backup uh, so we can we can identify the day on which day you want to choose uh, the full synthetic backup so the first back first backup always going to have a full backup then we have going to incremental backup and then full synthetic backup which is also going to be a forward uh, full backup and then we are going to have rest forward incremental backup so we are going to see how how to create and how to do this so here is my lab environment so I am going to use the same virtual machine which I have used in my last video so the first virtual machine is win 2 k 12 dc01 which is my active directory server you can go here and see active directory and dns role is running on this machine so win 2 k 12 dc01 my domain name is victorinfosol.com you can see my ad infrastructure also here and the second machine is veeam itself which is win 2 k 12 hyphen veeam which is running my veeam backup and replication server and we can go from here and you can see so this is my veeam server win2k12 veeam and I, I have logged into my veeam console you can see here veeam and replication and last machine which we have is a uh, hyper-v host which is win2k12 hv01 which is hyper-v standalone server which we have added in before in hive veeam backup and replication so you can go from here and you can see this is this server is added here and having two virtual machines let's verify from here this is my hyper-v server you can see win2k12 hv01 this is the hyper-v server if i go in hyper-v manager you can see the both virtual machine is running on vm1 and vm01 and 02 is running on this hyper-v host so so this is our infrastructure which we are going to use so let's click next and so uh, the what the forward incremental backup is going to do during schedule so let's schedule the forward backup and and we'll see how to proceed for that uh, we'll describe all these points step by step so I'm going on my Veeam server and from home I'm going to create a backup job for Microsoft Hyper-V I'm going to type here Veeam 01 and Veeam 02 forward incremental backup and I'm going to paste it here also at 8 p.m. every day so this is going to be my description and this is going to be my a task so I'm going to put here uh, this Veeam 01 and 02 backup and I'll next click next and then we need to add the hyper uh, virtual machine which is running on Hyper-V so I'm going to extend my Hyper-V server and going to select both the virtual machine and click add so we have already discussed exclusion in few uh, few videos back so I'm going to simply click next and the storage where you want to store so I'm going to store in my Veeam backup and replication repository and I'm going to set the retention policy 10 for example this time and if I go to advanced you can see here by default this creates full synthetic backup is marked and it's going to create on Sunday so Saturday so I'm going to check change this to Friday let's say on Friday and I'm going to apply then ok and then I'm going to click next so what is going to do this is going to do uh, create a, f a periodic uh, like synthetic full backup on Friday in our scenario so I'm going to minimize this and 
click OK and then I'm going to click next and I'm not going to use any application aware processing or guest indexing so click next and we have a schedule so every day at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. and I'm going to retry for two times wait for 10 minutes is fine click apply then you can see job has been created in backend and I'm going to run this job once I click finish so first time it's going to take the backup which is full backup so we can see from here the backup has been initiated so at the first time it's going to take this backup which is uh, you can say full backup so you can see from here during the first backup job session we create a full backup uh, file on the Veeam repository so we are going to see how Veeam is going to create full backup repository so we can go actually from here and we can identify I'm putting the backup here so you can see the folder has been created and if I go here you can see the job has been Veeam file has been also created so I'm going here and view and going to ex uh, enable the extension to verify so you can see this is VBK file which is creating now which is full backup so it's, it's now it's creating you can see almost 2 GB is completed so it's going to take some time to create this backup file so once we have this backup file I'm going to run few incrementals backup like this I'm going to run three incremental backup and then I'm going to change this on Friday and we'll see how the how the backup job is going to work on Friday so it's definitely going to create new full backup synthetic full backup on Friday in our case so we'll verify that just like wait for some time to get this backup done so I'm pausing the recording here once the backup uh, has been going uh, I, I will resume the back uh, video once the backup is completed for this virtual machine so the backup is almost completed yes it's successfully completed now you can see it's processed this much data and transfer 11.5 gig data and we can go from here and we can see the size of full uh, full backup is ar around 7.05 and we have full backup for these two virtual machine and now we can go here and verify we are on Wednesday right now so I'm going to take few incrementals backup now so I'm going to start backup once again to verify it's going to take next backup incremental so you can see this is an incremental backup machine is going to take so wait for some time checking the machines and it's process some data it's going to look for all the blocks which has been changed since last full backup so it's almost done you can see 99 percent completed so you can see incremental backup has been completed and now we have two backup which is full and incremental one more time I'm going to run the incremental backup then we are going to change the date of for this virtual machine and we'll see on Thursday so again you can see the backup is running and if I go here you can see backup what is running here and it's now showing incremental backup so it did, it's identified automatically that we need to take the incremental backup due to uh, policy which duty schedule which we have uh, given here on backup job so again the incremental backup job is running so you can see one more file has been created So it's successful and we have one full backup and two incremental backup and now 
and now what I'm going to do I'm going to change date on this machine and then going to run the Veeam backup so you need to make sure always the job which is going to be run on Veeam it's going to take the date and schedule time from Veeam server not from the Hyper-V host or any ESXi so I'm going to change the date and day and now it's uh, Thursday and date is 6 you can see the date is changed now computer and if I go here and run backup again and let's see what is going to run now so again it's going to identify the backup and since this is a Thursday so it will automatically detect what I need to take on Thursday and if it's incremental it's going to run the incremental backup it's just full it's going to run a full backup so you can see from here it's taking the incremental backup once again because we have scheduled the synthetic backup on Friday so I'm going to wait for this incremental backup then we are going to change the date once again and we run the backup and we'll verify it's working or not like uh, forward incremental backup is happening or not on with this job which we have configured in backup job so almost 99 percent completed So now you can see the job has been completed and we have incremental backup and now I'm once again I'm going to show you the schedule here if I go on schedule you can see 8 p.m. every day if I go to storage and advance you can see it's going to take the synthetic backup on Friday so what I'm going to do now I'm going to change the date so I'm going to make this Friday now 7th apply and ok and now I'm going to run this job and we will verify how it's going to run this time so you can see job is started building VM list and chain tracking is enabled and it's showing the incremental and now we have to wait for this backup to start now you can see after an incremental it's showing synthetic full and now you can see the status creating synthetic full backup so what it's going to do it's going to merge all the all the data here from this uh, from this state to this stored, uh, state and it's going to put on this v vbk file so we'll see now you can see the file change extension is vbk for full synthetic backup and now it's creating the synthetic backup which is uh, which is called full uh, forward incremental backup so you can see from here during the subsequent backup job when the Veeam copies only the data block which we have changed from last since full or incremental backup and change in incremental backup file chain so which is done here you can see all the changes have been set in incremental file and it's uh, set to in the incremental veeam incremental backup files and next you can see on a day when synthetic back backup or active backup is scheduled veeam create a full backup file and add to the backup chain incremental restore point uh, is going to uh, have a new starting point so you can see from here the all restore point all the incremental backup and this full backup has been going to merge on this and now we are going to have a full synthetic backup on this date and now you can say finally after adding a new restore point to the backup chain we check the retention policy set to job if the Veeam backup and replication detect outdated restore point it's attempt to remove the point from the backup chain so you can see from here now it's going to have a, this latest recovery point so if I click here on a Veeam backup and replication and if I go in backup infrastructure and then if I click uh, go to inventory and select the Hyper-V and for example I'm going to select this virtual machine and restore an instant recovery and then 
if you see the register point latest register point it's giving which we have just taken and if I go on points you can see what all the points we have so it's showing the full incremental backup full one full incremental back and then we have three incremental and this is on Friday which we have just taken as a full backup so synthetic backup which is full backup which we have taken on Friday so hence this is proof this is increment forward incremental backup and we are always going to have a latest incremental backup when the synthetic back backup is scheduled so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye